morning and welcome children. I hope you are in the peak of your health and taking care of yourself to fight against COVID-19. During the last week, you had your online test. I hope everybody took it very nicely. And once again, I'm here with the video tutorial classes and assignments for you. Children, in the last video, I taught you about adverbs. I hope everybody remembers it. What are adverbs? Adverbs are words that modifies a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. I taught you about different kinds of adverbs, that is, adverbs of degrees, adverbs of manner, adverbs of place, adverbs of time, and adverbs of frequency. Children, today we are going to do a few exercises, which is at the back of your lesson that is adverbs in your joyful learning book. So I want everyone to please take out your English language book, page number 82. I hope you are all ready with your language book and your open page 82. So we have exercise 4 here, which, has, which I'm going to deal here on the board. Insert the adverbs given in brackets in the correct position and punctuate accordingly. Children, the first one is, people followed old Jack and we have everywhere in the bracket. So we write it, people followed old Jack everywhere and we put a full stop there. The second one, people kept the old coins and we have there in the bracket. So it becomes, people kept the old coins there. And we put a full stop at the end of the sentence. The third one, may I keep my old books? And we have here in the bracket. So we write it as, may I keep my old books here? And we put a question mark. Went with a question mark. Now we have the fourth one. Do not bring your pet dog into the room. And we have anywhere in the bracket. So we write it as, do not bring your pet dog anywhere into the room. And we put a full stop at the end of the sentence. Now we come to exercise 5. That is, insert the adverb given in brackets in the correct position. The first one is, I have been to Shimla and we have never in the bracket. So we write it as, I have never been to Shimla. The second one, we have breakfast by 9 a.m. and we have always in the bracket. So we write it as, we have always have breakfast by 9 a.m. The third one, have you heard him complaining? And we have ever in the bracket. So we write it as, have you ever heard her complaining? So we and it with a question mark here because it's a question. Now we have the fourth one. Raj is happy and cheerful and we have usually in the bracket. So we write it as Raj is usually happy and cheerful. Now we have the last one that is number five. Marco Polo went to different parts of China and we have frequently in the bracket. So we write it as Marco Polo frequently went to different parts of China. I hope these two exercises are clear, children. Let's turn to page number 83. We have down below. Let us revise. We'll start with exercise 1 there. Fill in the blanks with suitable adverbs. Number 1. My house is dash big. My house is very big. You can also write extremely big. The second one, my mother dash drinks tea. My mother never drinks tea, seldom drinks tea, often drinks tea, anything it can be. Number three, breakfast is dash ready. Breakfast is almost ready. Number four, you have performed dash in this test. You have performed well in this test. Number five, I see her every day. Number six, the soldiers marched dash to the battle 
battle field smartly to the battle field briskly to the battle field it can be any other bad word also i am writing smartly here number 7 he looked at himself dash in the mirror he looked at himself carefully in the mirror and the last one that is number 8 he ate the food slowly quickly anything Let's turn to page number 84 row number 2 on top Underline the adverbs and state whether they are adverbs of time, place, degree, frequency, or manner. Please pay attention here, children, on the whiteboard. Number one, I have only met him once. Here, once is an adverb, and it's adverb of frequency. Number two, he is nowhere to be found. Here, nowhere is an adverb, and it is adverb of place. Number three, work on this project slowly but efficiently. Here, slowly and efficiently are adverbs. They are adverbs of manner. Both of them are adverbs of manner. Number four, the little child slept soundly. Here, soundly is an adverb, and again, it is adverb of manner. Number five, she visits the temple regularly. Here, regularly is an adverb and it is an adverb of frequency number 6 anu got up early in the morning she was tired by the end of the day here early is an adverb and it is adverb of time last one he was working quietly in the shed here quietly is an adverb again it is an adverb of manner i hope it's clear children to so, roman number 3 that is on page number 484 fill in the blanks with the correct degree of adverbs given in the brackets Number one, I speak English dash now than I did last year. So the word in the bracket is fluent is going to become fluently. I speak English fluently now than I did last year. Number two, she greeted me politely. So polite becomes politely. Number three. After her good result, she smiled happily. Number four. She walked farther today than she did yesterday. So it becomes F A R T H E R. Farther. Number five, your writing is illegible. Could you write clearly? So clear becomes clearly. Number six, a bus runs dash than an aeroplane. Slow becomes slower than an aeroplane. Number seven. Birds can fly dash than butterflies. High becomes higher. Number eight. Of all the fruits, 
are most dash e papayas frequent becomes frequently number 9 mother cooks dash than father well becomes better better than father because here we are better. number 10 he dash planned his next move he carefully planned his next move i hope it's clear children now let's come to roman number 4 on page number 84 Place the adverbs provided in the bracket in order to complete the sentence. The first one is done for two. Children, whenever there are more than two one adverb in a sentence, they have to be placed in a particular order. First, we have to have that is adverb of manner. Then comes adverb of place. And then comes adverb of frequency, and at the end we have adverb of time. So we have to keep this order in mind. So please look on the whiteboard here, and I'm going to read out all the sentences the way they have to be framed. The first one, yeah, it is already there on the in the book. Yeah, Chand moved willingly from one place to another during his childhood. Number two. She spoke well in the hall yesterday. The third one, Amit was singing loudly in the cafeteria today. Number four, the old woman sold matches in a small shop close to the factory every day. Number five, the patient waited worriedly in the hospital a whole day. For his test results. Number six. Rahul reads quietly in the library in the evenings. Number seven. Harsh plays the guitar at the cafe every Saturday evenings. And the last one, that is number eight. I clean my bookshelf and desk nicely on Sunday. That's all for today, children. Thank you and have a nice time.